In this video, I would like to explain the fresh gas outlet of the VETA 5 and the VETA 3 anesthetic machines. As you can see, the fresh gas outlet design of the two machines are identical. For this reason, from now on, we will focus on the VETA 5. The system comes with an integrated rebreathing circuit and it also has an auxiliary common gas outlet port that you can use to attach a non-rebreathing system. And here is a switch button called ACGO on and off. I found that veterinarians have difficulties understanding the function of this button, despite it's crucial for their work. This will divide the fresh gas either flowing to the non-rebreathing system or to the breathing circuit. So if I turn this switch on, then fresh gas exits here at this port, and you can anesthetize a parrot, for example, via a non-rebreathing system with a mask. Or if you switch it to the left, to off position, then the fresh gas enters the rebreathing circuit, and you can anesthetize your patient with this uh, rebreathing circuit. Thinking more intuitively rather than ACGO on and off, which may be difficult to understand, especially for foreigners who are not native English speakers, you could think of this switch button as dividing the fresh gas either to the right, going to the non rebreathing system, or to the left, entering the rebreathing system. It is commonly recommended that animals under about 5 kilo body weight should be connected to a non rebreathing system rather than a rebreathing circuit. This number is not absolute, and you may very well choose a different number, but it is beside the point. We can attach here a non rebreathing system, such as this Maple Zone D system from the Intersurgical Company. This is just one example on, of a non-rebreathing system, but I find it a, a very nice system because it has an intelligent graded APL valve, and this valve, even when it's in completely closed position, it will open at a pressure about 30 centimeters of water, which will help avoiding barotrauma for your small patient. Hence, I find this system is much safer than many other non-rebreathing systems on the market. So, when you take your non-rebreathing system, you can plug it in right here at the auxiliary common gas outlet port. But before you use it, you have to make sure that the fresh gas flow selector is switched onto on position. So remember, on position, pointing to the right, exiting at the right side, hence entering the non rebreathing system, or pointing to the left, the fresh gas goes to the rebreathing circuit, and then you will anesthetize your patient with this one. I recommend that the anesthetist makes up his or her mind of what circuit will be used for this anesthetic procedure. And if the non rebreathing system is chosen, then simply remove the rebreathing hoses from the system and dedicate the whole anesthesia machine only for using the non rebreathing system here. And make sure that the fresh gas flow selector switch is turned onto on position, which is pointing to the right, hence the fresh gas is exiting this port and entering the non rebreathing system. I've heard about the veterinarian who was anesthetizing parrots via a non rebreathing system and left the fresh gas flow selector in the wrong position. Hence, the animals were not asleep and everybody in the room could smell the sibofluorane. So this seemingly small mistake caused major trouble for the anesthetist. How can we prevent this uh, accident from happening? We can do two things. First of all, make sure you understand very well the function of this ACGO button. Second, perform a simple pressure test before every single anesthetic procedure, even if uh, the machine was used for another anesthetic a few minutes before. 
Why do you need to do that? Because even if it was just a few minutes, someone, maybe not you, maybe an assistant who is helping you setting up the machine, might have changed the solder line and put it back in the wrong position. May have changed the breathing hoses and forgot to attach it uh, in the right way. May have changed the breathing bag and the other breathing bag has a hole on it which has not been tested. May have left the APL valve closed in closed position or may have left the selector, ACGO selector button in the wrong position. So all of this information could be tested by a simple pressure test that we have to perform uh, before every anesthetic. My name is Dr. Tomasz Ambrisko and I'm a veterinary anesthesiologist. Thank you for watching.